So let's talk about the big lie that a lot of the gurus out there will tell you is that there's CRMs or systems and processes or this AI, this chatbot, this voicemail job, whatever is the magic bullet to your success. Hey, my name's Chad Lienberg and I've helped hundreds of agents scale their real estate business to six figures and beyond with our Shark Partner program. If you're interested, hit me up in my contact info below. So software and technology can be a great tool to amplify what you're doing, but the reason why I know it is nowhere near the magic pill or the magic bullet to get you to success is because uh, not only have I had a lot of systems and processes that help power a team that sold 100 plus homes a year for the last uh, seven or eight years, um, but we actually white labeled a software and deployed it out to fix problems for ourselves and then to sell it to other agents. So we had agents, this is actually one of my recent failures. We had a lot of agents come on the software, but what I learned was how little they actually do the things that they're required to do. Most agents thought because they paid for the same systems and processes that I had, that they would get the same results. And that's where I think what you need to realize is your CRM, your tech stack, all that stuff is a tool to amplify you. Like a pencil enables you to write down your thoughts on a piece of paper. That's what technology does, right? CRM is a tool for you to be able to scale relationships, to be able to do it faster, quicker, but you have to have that element of you, that human element in it, and you also have to have the work. You still have to have the work. So a little story is we ran a, a, a white labeled software and we still have it. It's called My Connector. If you're interested, sure, hit me up. But I'll tell you, it's not the magic pill. There's a, there's a great software company out there called High Level and you can have your own version of the CRM. We were floored when we discovered this because we've been wanting to do something like this for years because, you know, we're, we're, I'm a bit of a systems and processes nerd. Uh, so it solved a ton of problems for my team personally. A lot of things, you know, I'd always have a CRM that could do nine out of 10 things or seven out of 10 things or do some things really great, but not do this one thing right. And really with this software, there was no limits. There, they, they, you could just, you had control. I could add endless accounts. I was just, there was, there, you know, whether it's mass texting, voicemail drops, automations, um, websites, forms, every everything you could think of, it, it, it does. But when we got others in the software, we saw the login rates. We saw the 30 leads that came in and the three calls that went out. We saw that there was this amazing, we, we were so proud of this, this visual pipeline that when you drag it to client status, a different drip campaign is triggered. Um, and all of this started by when they got the lead, they got a text message and they'd click a link and that would trigger which status. So if they click client, it would move to client visually on the pipeline. Like we had it all connected. It was awesome. And it actually solved problems for our personal team. But what we found was the same problem we've always encountered. Most agents don't log in. Most agents don't make the calls. Most agents don't categorize their leads. They don't segment the database. They just go with who they remember that they talked to. So what happened here is a new magic pill. We created a shiny object. And this was where I finally ultimately learned the lesson that there are no magic pills. One other thing to note is it can't fix weak salesmanship. If you don't have the ability to articulate your value or to be a human being and not wear the mask, the corporate mask that everybody wears when they're trying to convert people or, or talk in their professional language because they don't have enough confidence in their own skill set, the CRM and the systems and the processes and the automations and all the tech stack things that those things do, do not replace skills. Skills can be learned, but they cannot be magically deployed from AI or some piece of tech that you get. And we even experienced this with our team. We had our team using the software, making it work, and it didn't make an impact in sales. But when we took a mindset approach and worked on the skills and the human being elements of them, we saw and it was directly the calls increased, the sales increased. So it was a clear example to me that software sucks. So my advice to you as a real estate agent is stop chasing the magic pill or the magic software, or the tech stack. Ask yourself, are you doing the work that is required before you consider that you need to make a switch on your CRM or whatever you're, you're, you're looking at doing with your tech stack. So, and I can give you one thing from watching this video. If you go to sprint.chadleyenberg.com, 
I'll put it down here in the description. I actually have a download. You can get our daily sprint tracker. You don't even need a CRM. If you follow this sprint tracker, this daily sprint every day, you're much more likely to get success than having some magic CRM that you're not going to end up using anyway because you never log in, you never categorize your leads, you never start the campaigns, you never do the things that are required to move the needle. So ultimately, I did mention that I had a failure, right? We launched a business and really we just broke even on it. It didn't do what I thought it would do for us. It, it actually detracted from our current business by focusing on all of this software and this whole new business that we had invented. So I literally live the shiny object syndrome in this instance. So my advice to you is focus on what moves the needle in your business do a ton of that more often. And if you want to take anything from this video, just take an hour a day, five days a week, outbound proactive activity in the database. If you don't have leads, I have a training below here, it shows you how to get cheap leads uh, using Facebook ads. You can see our ad on the video. Uh, you can also set up a call with me and we can show you how we can help you deploy that. But that's all it is, it's just a way for you to get cheap names and numbers so you can actually be proactive one hour a day in your database, five days a week. If you do that, you won't need the magic pill. If you do that already, then maybe you can look at how to amplify your time with tech and systems and processes. But in my experience, 80 to 90 percent of agents don't get beyond the one hour two hour a day prospecting that's required before they even need the ninja skills that are out there however work works on you harder than you work on it so when we did go through this whole thing we developed a ton more for our team that amplified the systems and processes and we learned a lot of lessons seeing what works with leads and what doesn't what marketing works what Facebook ads get cheap leads which ones do not so there were a lot of lessons learned overall I'm happy I did it you know any work is a step in the right direction because you're gonna learn something from the work but going back uh, it definitely was detracting from the things that move the needle from us in the short term however a failure is only a failure if you let it be I know to learn lessons from the failures and this absolutely was one for us that we know we're gonna correct moving forward and make sure we're focused on things that actually move the needle we still use the CRM we still use my connector it's it, it's advantageous for us to just have automation set up different things like that it's cheaper than a lot of the other software products we had combined so we still use it but we just learned that that's not a magic pill for agents uh, the six inches between your ears is the magic pill if you can keep it focused laser focused and disciplined on moving towards your goal 1% more each day. So I hope that was helpful. I hope that you could take some lessons from this video and you know maybe not make some some mistakes that I did. Um, just we just try to I try to be very transparent here so you can see the journey and hopefully get some of the lessons without the scars that I have. So uh, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you at the top.